So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to pair your Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 or Watch 6 Classic with a non Samsung Android phone. Okay, so switch on the watch as soon as you take it out of the box. In fact, to switch on, long press on this button. Okay, now if for some reason that button doesn't seem to be working when you long press, then your watch might have run out of battery so you might want to connect it to the charger let it charge for a few minutes and then long press that button okay and this is the first screen you're going to see now this is a screen to start the setup process now before you can start the setup process you might want to go to your phone and remember remember this is a non samsung android phone actually this is a redmi but you can do this with literally any android phone okay so simply go to the Google Play Store. In the Play Store, search for Galaxy wearable app. Okay, this one right here. So Galaxy wearable app. That's the app you're looking for. So go ahead and tap on it. Make sure it's this app from Samsung Electronics Company Limited. Okay. You want to make sure you install the correct app because there might be a few uh, gimmicks out there. Okay, So just make sure you get the correct application. Let me go back to that page. That's the app right there. So go ahead and install it on your Android phone. It's available for any Android phone. So once the app has been installed, then you want to go ahead and launch it. There it is and you can actually launch it from the app screen okay so the, the icon will always be there okay and so let's go ahead and start the setup process we have the app installed we have our watch charged and switched on so go ahead and select the language on the watch so i use english so i'll select english and then i'll tap on this check mark And then it's going to ask me to choose my country or region. I'll choose my country and restart the watch. Okay. This is because sometimes the watch will give you different settings and different options that suit your region best. So once the watch restarts, swap up. And then when you're on this page, now you want to go back to your phone and tap on get started so just tap on continue to get started with the process allow galaxy wearable to find connect to and determine the relative position of nearby devices you have to allow that to be able to use this and you have to allow that as well so it's going to start scanning for devices to add and immediately it's going to detect our galaxy watch 6 code ez 6 l okay which is this one ez 6 l so tap on that and then it's going to there might be a pairing request, so you might to just tap on pair and connect, okay? There's going to be a number on here. Make sure it's the same number here, then tap on pair, and then tap on the check mark on your watch. And then now you can continue on the phone to set up, okay? So it says check your phone to complete setup. So we transfer our attention here, and let's go ahead and okay this, okay? So tap okay. It's going to ask install Galaxy Watch 6 Manager. So tap OK to allow that. And then this is a plugin that actually should, should, be, should be installed to be able to work properly. So this is a Galaxy Watch 6 plugin. It's a specific plugin for the Galaxy Watch 6. So go ahead and install that as well. So, so once the plugin has been installed successfully, you can now go back to the Galaxy wearable app and continue the setup process, okay? Now, you might want to sign in with your Samsung account or you can skip this and set that up later. And then of course, you'll have to agree with the end user license agreement, the Samsung privacy policy, or you can agree to all if you want to and then tap on continue. Allow Galaxy Watch 6 manager to access your watch 
tap on allow allow galaxy watch 6 manager to send you notifications allow okay and then you have the usual google terms of service which you have to read and eventually agree do you want to get updates automatically i'll just select manually for now okay and then it's going to tell us it's trying to get our watch ready so just be patient and allow this process to finish so once that process uh finishes up you might want to sign in to your google account okay now i'll just uh sign into this account or i can choose a different account this is the account that signed in on this phone and i might want to transfer it to the watch so i'll just go ahead and tap on continue as that account of course it's going to require a fingerprint or a pattern okay so you just add the pattern there and now it's signing me in to my google account on the watch of course you can do this later if you want to but it's normally easier on the phone On the next screen, you have select apps for your watch. You can skip this part and do it later, or you can just tap on continue and have those apps installed automatically. And then you have automatic watch backup. You can set that up, tap on next. If you want to install uh, the Samsung smart switch, you can do that right now, or you can go back and skip that, okay? So I've just gone back to the Galaxy wearable app. And then I'll choose my preferred wrist, tap on next, choose always on display, tap on next, and then next, and then next. Just breeze past through this. It's almost a setup, uh, fast tutorial or a basic tutorial for your watch. And it's currently finishing up the setup process. Meanwhile, you can read the tips and use a manual if you want to. But then you can just wait for this to finish. So it's done now. It says it takes me back to the Galaxy wearable app. And on the watch, it says I'm all set and it's starting once again. Okay. You can see it's charging because I've connected the charger. I have my watch faces there. I have my watch settings. It's the exact same Galaxy wearable app that you'd get on a Samsung phone. Okay. You can choose to take a tour a tour of your watch or you can skip that and there you go so we have the galaxy watch 6 paired to a non-samsung android phone and you can do this for any samsung any i mean any android phone okay thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck